Welcome to the CAD Office Training Guide Series for F.Civil 3D. My name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAD Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I'll be going through the F.Civil 3D Drainage Training Guide. In this series of videos I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we'll start with Chapter 13 Catchment Areas. Let's begin. In this chapter, we will review the definition and purpose of catchment areas and perform a watershed analysis of a surface. In this chapter, we'll learn about catchment area definitions and purpose, performing watersheds analysis on a surface. Run the chapter 13.exe file and restore all files to the C Civil 3D drainage C Civil 3D projects folder. Do not change the location in which the practice files are installed. Doing so can cause errors when completing this exercise in this training manual. Catchment areas. Catchment areas are used to delineate a drainage boundary that drains to a structure or pipe. Catchment areas can have additional hydrological data attached for further analysis. Catchments. In the next few steps, you will review the process of creating catchments. You can model drainage areas by using existing surface data or polyline data to create catchments. A catchment object is comprised of a boundary and a flow path. The boundary represents the watershed area that produces the runoff. The flow path represents the time of concentration data for the runoff flow from the catchment area. This time of concentration data can be defined using the TR55 method, or it may be user-defined. When a catchment is associated with a pipe network structure, the catchment data can be exported to Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis for further analysis and development of the model. Create catchment objects to model drainage areas on a surface. Catchments can be accessed from the Toolspace Prospector tab, and associated catchment styles and settings are accessed from the Toolspace Settings tab. When you select a catchment in the drawing, the catchment contextual ribbon is displayed where you can access catchment related commands. Catchment overflow. A catchment object is comprised of a boundary and a flow path. The boundary represents the watershed area that produces the runoff. The flow path represents the time of concentration data for the runoff flow from the catchment areas. This time of concentration data can be defined by using the NRCS SCS TR-55 method, or it may be user-defined. Creating catchments from surfaces. If existing surface data is available, you can define a catchment and flow path from this surface data. You may optionally use the water drop command to check how Civil 3D would calculate the flow path from the surface. If this command does not produce the result results due to surface irregularities such as localized depression or erratic triangulation issues, you may opt to use the create catchment from object command and select a manually drawn flow path. Creating catchments from surface creating catchments creating catchments from objects. If existing surface data is not available, you can define a catchment and flow path from polylines. If the polylines have elevation data, you can use that data from the flow path slope, or you can edit the slopes of the flow path segments later by using the flow segments vista. In this drawing, we will create catchment objects from polylines. The process starts by displaying the watershed boundaries analysis from the road design surface. The watershed analysis displays the same boundaries you make with the define catchments from surface command. It is a good starting point for delineating sub-basins, which you will define later by subdividing the watershed into smaller areas, each draining to a single inlet. Exercise 13.1, Watershed Analysis. Start the, start the F. Civil 3D state kit and open the DRP RRD03 drawing located in the Chapter 13 dataset drainage folder. Save the file as drprrd04 in the same folder location. As shown in the previous steps, associate the drawing file to the 22049555201 project 
by right-clicking on the Data Shortcuts folder and selecting Associate Project to Current Drawing. Next, review the, S, review the Surface SR61 final. In the next few steps, you will review the Surface SR61 final that will be used to delineate watershed areas. In Toolspace on the Prospector tab, notice SR61 final is the name of the surface. This is the surface that we will be using to delineate watershed areas. The Pipe Network Proposed Drainage SR61 is where we will find the inlets to be connected to the catchment objects. At the command line, type xref to open the xref manager. In the list, right click on the DM, the DRM PRD04 one and select unload. Repeat the above steps to unload the DSGNRD01 file. Next click on the X on the top left hand corner of the external reference dialog box to close it. Watershed analysis of SR61 final surface. The contents of the current drawing is all that displays. In the next few steps, you will perform watershed analysis of the SR61 final surface. In the tool space on the Prospector tab, expand surfaces. Right click on SR61 final surface and choose surface properties. From the surface properties SR61 final dialog box, select the information tab. From the surface style drop down list, select analysis watershed. Back on the Information tab, for the Surface Styles, click on the down arrow and choose Analys Analysis Watersheds, and then go back to the Analysis tab. Check the Merge Ad Adjacent Boundary Watersheds box, and then click the down arrow to populate the range details with the calculated watershed areas. Click Apply, then click OK to close the Surface Properties SR61 final dialog box. Zoom and pan to display the proposed drainage, SR61 pipe network. Each inlet is located inside a watershed area. In the next chapter, you will isolate the watershed areas relevant to the design and convert them into polylines. Save and close the DRP RRD04 drawing.